So you guys have some technology in place that possibly could could have found the uh, missing Malaysia plane by now. Just talk to me a bit about how ALAS works. Yeah, there's a, uh, there's a technology called ADSB, which is mandated by the FAA to be on all aircraft by 2020. Um, the problem with ADSB, as it's currently configured, is that it doesn't reach every place on the planet. So we augment that signal across satellite. The result being that even if you're over the ocean, if you're in areas of the world that maybe will never put um, ADSB ground infrastructure because it's costly, or in areas that are otherwise shadowed by mountain ranges or things like that, you can still get the signal out and the signal will go up and down over the satellite network and deliver the coordinates of that aircraft um, every second, once a second, in a matter of milliseconds. Wow, so how long do you think it would take for uh, that kind of technology to be in commercial aircrafts? Um, the core technology is required for all new aircraft that are delivered and have been delivered for the last couple of years. The challenge is that there's not ground infrastructure everywhere and uh, the augmented portion of it is not yet approved uh, for use, but it'll be approved by the FAA sometime in the next probably year to year and a half. What about cost? Is that a factor to delaying the process? It's not, actually, because the aircraft will have ADSB technology built in them. And then all we do is take that information, which would normally go to a ground, a ground station, and then we augment it over satellite. And there's almost no cost in doing that relative to the cost of an airplane. So it's not a cost issue, um, but it is a cost savings issue. Because when you're tracking like this, you can follow an aircraft uh, very carefully and proscribe different routes, which save fuel, and saving fuel is inherently greener. Do you think that what's going on with the missing plane will, um, will push um, the aviation industry to require more tracking? Is this going to be, is this going to sort of build momentum with LS? I, I think it would be unbelievable if it did not. Um, in the world that we're living in today, in post 9-11, it just is crazy that we're unable to find this aircraft uh, and there's some probably relatively simple solutions for it uh, and and I hope that the FAA and uh, worldwide agencies um, kind of push this along quickly.